So we were making a clip for the end of the video, actually working on a bomb thumbnail, as you guys obviously seen, and we got basically mastered the freaking burnout on this thing, and we're gonna let it rip for you guys, and you get to see the burnout before we start the video on this badass motorcycle. So here, check it out. After I die, I'm gonna die. Yo, bro. Whoa. Dude, you check out my new motorbike. God dang, look at this bad girl. Uh, I told you guys we're gonna have some badass content coming and here it is. We bought a brand new used Honda CBR 500. Uh, and I gotta turn my music down and I had it up. Two guys staying loud, I'm out here ripping it and imagine what I'm gonna do with this thing. So guys, we just picked up, like I said, this brand new used on a CBR 500. Yes, it's not that big. It's not a 1000. It's not nothing crazy, but it, guys, it's a freaking 500 Honda. So we don't know what we're going to put in and what we're going to do. We just picked it up from a buddy's house and we're going to see if we can get it fired. It's been sitting for two years. It smells like it's got some nasty gas in it. And as you can see right here, it was wrecked. He actually broke both of his arms on this bike. So we're gonna try to get it running here in this episode and see if we can get her fired up, like I just said. And while we're doing that, we're gonna brainstorm some ideas of what we're gonna do with it. And I don't know, go from there. So while you guys are watching this video, make sure you drop comments down below on what you wanna see us do with this crazy build, if we need, you know, what we wanna make it into. So while we're doing that, while you're dropping comments down below, we're gonna see if we can get this thing fired up and I think we need to charge the battery, maybe check the gas in it because it's probably really old. It's been sitting for like two years. Oh, by the way, this thing only has 120 miles on it. Literally 120 miles. The tires still have the teats on them. I don't know if you can see that right there, but they're still brand dang new. So we got the key in it. We've got everything here. He said it ran when it was parked about two years ago. So with that being said, we're gonna get a battery charger put on it and go from there. So first things first, the key is kind of wavy. It's kind of bent from the accident. Um, but Austin, this is his bike we've got here and said that we might be able to get the key here. It's where the battery is. So see if we can hold, get that thing. Now I just gotta, just gotta wiggle it and play with it. And every now and then it's just so big, it's stuck. Is that, is that how far it goes in there, son? That's why you didn't drive it long enough to know what, how to open a battery tray, did you? finger messing with it for a minute we found that the wire right here that actually releases it was out of place so the key wasn't doing t diddly nothing so we got the battery gas definitely smells old we're gonna get the battery charger put on our battery and see if we can get um this thing to spin over he said he had it running about a year ago so maybe that will give us some luck we got the battery turned up nice and straight here I'm gonna drag the battery charger over here to it and see if we can get it fired up. So the battery is pretty much stone dead and it is a gel cell because it sits sideways in the bike. So we're gonna let it charge for about 20 minutes and within that time we're going to check the oil in it. He did replace the radiator in it because he was gonna try to fix it up before he did, you know, kind of deemed it totaled. Um, so we got a couple radiator hoses over here. They're off the radiator. We're gonna try to get hooked up and uh, see if we can get some coolant put in it so that when we do get it fired up, the water pump isn't running dry. And if we do decide to make a, you know, maybe a little burnout video in this video here, we can do that without having to worry about it overheating. So that's for a power plant. We're going to uh, get this hose hooked back up right here and a few others. Austin, where's the other hose you already got hooked up right there? Yeah, I got this one hooked up right here. You wanna grab a pair of pliers right quick and we'll hook this side up. So I just kind of slid that hose on right there in its home. Uh, there should be some up there. 
I'm sure there's some kind of a bleeding process to get all the air out of the system, but we're gonna get some coolant poured in here and see if that will at least do something, which is you know obviously better than nothing. So, but I may go ahead and stick the key in here and see if we got any kind of power. Oh. So our crooked key here. A little shiver down in there. It's the clear barrel over there. I'm gonna try to put that hose on. We've got something making noise down here. It's only got seven volts, so it's pretty pissed off. We'll leave it turned off for now. Yeah, literally we turned the key on and it dropped from 10 volts to <laughs> 6.9 right here's your hose uh, we may be waiting quite a while to get this thing um, charged up and maybe we can see if we can get it to fire off we may have to put a new battery in it I'm not sure but all the parts stores are closed this late so probably not going to happen tonight if we cannot get this battery to charge up uh, oh boy while that's happening we'll take a quick intermission for a barnal skate see a chug send a chug if you guys are watching my videos past couple days, we've been building some engines. This engine's almost ready to rock. Got all the pistons and rods in it and all that good stuff. We're going to put the head on it tomorrow and button it up and the customer's going to come pick it up. <clears throat> if you guys will definitely have to excuse me, I am like coming down with like a serious cold like overnight. It has progressively gotten extremely worse during the day today. So I'm doing my best because I want to get this video up because it's going to be sick with this new motorbike. <sighs> so... We're going to get this thing fired up, hopefully, here in a moment. Battery that was in it was not cutting it. It wasn't even coming up over, like, 8 volts of charge, no matter what we did. So it was basically just junk. I've got the battery out of my Canon four-wheeler that was sitting next door, and go figure, it's dead. But it is coming up on charge very fast. So we're going to give it about 20 minutes to rest and get charged up. And we're going to blow off some, blow some time on what we're going to do. But we're going to hang out, so. And let this battery charge up. Then we're going to give it another go. We've got coolant in it already. And we're gonna check the oil, like I just said, and see how much oil we've got in it. Set the seats out of the way, because they are still in excellent shape. And we've got like an oil, oil indicator right here. And we've got a flashlight in my pocket. And we can see that it is definitely full of oil, so we're good there. I've got the bike almost sitting level, how it would usually ride with the front tire <laughs> still attached. So we're gonna chill for a minute hopefully this thing charged up so we can get it fired up you guys it's been like 30 minutes since we've been letting this battery charge and that time i have lost my voice i am dying over here but i've got the battery is semi-charged it is a gel cell they're designed to lay on their side so don't go whining a bitch and moaning but you got 13.8 volts in there we're gonna click this key on fuel pumps running voltage isn't dropping that bad so i think we're gonna let it rip see if this will fire up we sure it's a neutral we hope we hope no, it's First gear right now. How do we get it? Just pull it up one hand. I will find out where it's starting. Just rub it off. <coughs> All right, here we go. Let's we'll see what she does. it was pretty much out of gas i could see some gas in there but obviously it wasn't enough to uh create fuel pressure so we got some fresh gas we'll pour it in and mix with a little bit of old gas that's still in it probably not a good idea but uh we're gonna find out what she'll do now hopefully the fuel pump really is working a little bit better all right guys i'm currently dying even worse my voice is deteriorating by the minute but while we are messing around getting all the old gas drain we actually pumped some old gas that was in the fuel system into our spare fuel tank right here and um yes i know believe it or not i do have to work on gas stuff and we got it got it to hit off we don't know if it's going to run right um so with that being said we're going to see if it'll fire up and we've checked spark it's got spark it's you know it hit one time and we're going to see what it do the battery is nice and charged so this thing's actually warm so we took it off the charger so i'm going to turn our key on we got the fuel cap back on us so don't blow ourselves up Oh, I just gotta turn the ignition on for the uh, fuel pump to work, so we'll see if she'll fire.
I've got you here. A couple things I found is right here where the fuel line is. Austin, when he was 16 and actually did all this, he left one of the fuel clips off. So over my years of experience, uh, when you lose these little special clips, you can actually take a zip tie and make it where they won't come off. And that's not a permanent solution, but temporary so we didn't have gas spewing everywhere and have a potential fire hazard. But other than this thing being completely torn apart now, uh, we have a running freaking motorcycle project so you guys still if you haven't dropped a comment down below drop a comment down below like right now and tell me what you guys want to see us do um soon we get this thing fired up again run it run check coolant and stuff like that make sure it's good to go we're going to brainstorm on our whiteboard over there what we should be putting this thing in so with that being said let's see if she fires back up should's only got 120 miles on it on the ground and you could have actually strapped it under this or maybe we could pull it back a little bit we gotta do a <clears> burnout <throat> we gotta do a burnout and maybe we grab that side i'll grab this side i'll pull it back a little bit and uh if you want to hold it from jumping ship and killing one of us i'll hold the clutch right here i'm sorry right here i'm gonna retard hey, let me hold the clutch so you can work just that <laughs> some rubber on the new motorbike project no more teats on those tires and we're gonna brainstorm now so you guys need to let us know in the comments down below right now after you smash the like button what you think we should be putting this in so, so far from the whiteboard can you see this okay austin one what do you think we should do come on be enthusiastic it's only 1 a.m Putting a four wheel frame? Four wheeler frame. Racing. Racing what? Lawnmower. Racing lawnmower. I like that one. I come from a lawnmower sled puller background back in the day, so. Alright, can't give up now. I'm thinking some kind of a. Uh, hmm. Some kind of a yeah, go kart's pretty cool, but it's pretty played out. We'll write go kart down. Go kart, maybe a shopping cart. It's been done before, but never with a big motor. You guys can read that really crappy handwriting. I'm trying to hold a camera. Zero turn. <laughs> Zero turn. Oh my god, that'd be nuts. All right. Is that on our list for now? Yeah, I think so. So that, <clears throat> I'm still dying. So that is our current list for right now for our motorcycle, half a motorcycle project. So if you guys have any other questions or any other ideas, I may throw a poll up depending on how many people suggest what we should do on YouTube and maybe we'll go from there on what we're going to do. Depending on the resources we have at hand also. So, with that being said, I hope you guys really like this video. Smash that like button. If you are brand new subscribers and you are watching this video, I appreciate everything you guys are doing and liking all my videos and watching and commenting. Of course, being a 
fresh and new subscriber, make sure you check out ahdracing.com and pick up all your After Hours Diesel merch. Also, make sure you check out all of our older videos and all the stuff we have going with the Flatty. Lots of new content going with that. If you guys follow me on Instagram, it's Bruce underscore After Hours. You'll see a couple new projects I'm thinking about purchasing. Not sure yet, so make sure you guys go follow me there. And, of course, add me on Snapchat at After Hour Diesel. So, until then, guys, we'll catch you later. Make sure you smash that like button, drop a comment down below, and subscribe if you're new to the channel. We'll catch you later. Peace out.